Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another video, and the first concept we're going to be talking about is no is um, test notation, and depending on if we still have like time, we might talk about um another concept um called a gambit. So yeah, the other one we're going to be doing is called a gambit. But we'll only do it if we have enough time to um finish the notation one. So that's notation is like how you like keep score of what your moves are. So we'll go to analysis board. So there's different notations for each piece. The king is represented by a K. The pawn has no letter. All you do is write the square it moves to. Um, that's all. So right here, it's like E4, right? See, there's no P E4. The P would stand for pawn. There's no P. You should write me pawn. No, it's just E4. But however, and the move. Eight, eight, eight. King T2, they normally just like king symbol is. In this king sub no sign I don't like the king thingy is like when you're you're supposed to write it as um a K and for the knight it's N because the knight start also starts with K but it wouldn't make but if you do K you can't have two of the same thing it's gonna get confusing so and, and you can't do and for the king, it's putting that with an I would make no sense. So, yeah. And then doing okay, doing it with the rook is represented with an R. Oh no, not that. Doing it with a bishop is represented by B. But when you capture, it's an X on the square. And for pawns, like let's say when a pawn captures, blah blah blah, it's it's like you add an X whenever you capture. For pawns, it's gonna you have to write what's like what column, like what's that your column your the pawn is on, and then write the X and then whatever whatever square whatever square they're capturing on, and then when like. You're promoting, let's say, okay? Like, let's say when you're promoting. King. Pawn. King here. We'll just do the position to make it easy. So, like, when you do this, like, when you promote, you get C8, then you write an equal sign once you write the equal sign you write the letter queen is represented by a q this up is with a b i don't know why it, does. it just sounds like the piece knight rook whatever it's whatever you promote to whatever you want to promote to so yeah, whatever. That's how you write promotion. So that's mainly the notation, I think. Okay. Oh yeah. Wait, there's some more stuff I need about. I need, I got to cover about notation. I'm just gonna do a bit of a random. This isn't how you should play. Okay, you should never play like. I'm just doing it to like get it over with. So, look. so if like let's say we play this, I'm just gonna do copycat. Never play this. this right now. Okay, look. Like, see, both rooks, right, can go on any of the squares except these. Of course, you can't land on another on their own piece. But like when you go here, actually, never mind. It's already done here. Because see. 
Look, both of the rooks could possibly go to ace three, right? And since this one on ace one did, how would we know that? So, for this, instead of just saying rook ace three, since you need to know this one, we do rook ace to ace three. This is how you know that. So, saying rook ace means it's the rook on the ace flop, not the one on the ace flop. That's how you know that. Much is also a different word. This, I doubt, comes up often. I'll just try and do something. Okay, now this is gonna be crazy. Okay, nice. So look, now look, our rook on c3 moved to um c4. Now you might think it's now it's gonna be rook c4. No, it's not. Instead of rook c4, now since both since it's not was we're on the column, but they're on the same column, not the same row. So then, oh my god, I can never do that. How do I do that? How do I, I, I'm never able to do that on reset. Okay, never mind that. That's my mistake. So, so, the important stuff. Okay, so the thing is, it's rook 3c4 because your rook on the third row moved to c4, not the rook on the fifth row. If it was the rook on the fifth row, it would be rook 5c4, meaning rc, r5c4. That's that. And that's more or less the end of this notation since it's not possible to have rooks on the same column and same file. If it was, I that would be pretty cool, but we can't. So yeah, that's it. So I think that's it for the basin, but I think we still have a bit of fun, so we might quickly be able to cover the gambits. Gambits are when like you give up a pawn, but for something. Norm normally, like you do it early in the opening. And you get center control. Like here, you're giving up a clean pawn, right? But however, doing doing so, you get more control of the center, since that's inverted the center. That's a gambit, but it's not often played. So because like you don't want to move your left pawn, right? Uh, you never want to do. So common gambit is this, this, this. That's the common. That's the Kayuk. That's the most common gambit that I know. This this is the most common one because this sir it's this, but this one isn't in this one here and it's because here it's protected by a lot of stuff. And like here, this is the only thing guarding it. And fun. I'll just say this. That's it. But here look. There's this, 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 and this. Or this. Is doing here the queen? Oh, my God. the queen also got there, though. So yeah. So here it's fine. That's a gambit. A gambit is normally is basically when you give up one or two pawns. Normally it's one. Sometimes it's two. Like when you. So just to be serious, a gambit is when you give up one or two pawns, but you get something in return. Normally it's material, and plus in most gambits you normally get. I mean, not not ma you don't get material back. You, I mean, okay. So when you give away one or two pawns, but in return you get center control. And normally in a gambit like the queen's gambit, it's called queen's gambit. Accepted when black does not take the pawn, it's queen's gambit. The queen will get into. Why not the same right now? This one is called king's gambit because it's the king's pawn. This is called Queen's Gambit because it's Queen's Pawn. Okay, what am I doing? Okay. If Black accepts the Queen's Gambit, this, this, it's called Queen's Gambit accepted. If they do not take it, the most common one is this. And they, yeah. Like this or this are the common rules. It's called Queen's Gambit declined. You don't need to get this. It's just theory, like, 
coming. And this is called King's Gambit. Because it's here. It's on King's side. If they take the King's Pawn, it's called I mean, King's Gambit accepted. If they decline it, same thing. With King's Gambit declined. But normally it doesn't really matter if you give it the pawn. Because anyway, they technically sacrificed it for nothing. Because like normally you get the pawn right back. And it's useless trying to hold on. You just undermine the pawn thing. It's useless. You're eventually going to lose the pawn. You're eventually going to lose it. Or maybe this. You're eventually going to lose it. And you've just given us this thing. Maybe you could do that, but we're just gonna put. We're just gonna push, man. We're just gonna push. We're not taking. No, 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 no. We're, we're pushing. No, you, you, you taking. So, yeah, well, yeah. So, that's the end of this episode, guys. So, and, so technically, notation is how you keep score. Lots of stuff. You can look it up more, like, carefully. Here, like we do like like the briefest we don't like do like but you if you want to keep learning about notation and like more stuff you could look like on websites i don't really know any so yeah and notation is like how you know what moves you made and again which is when you give up one or two pawns you normally get the pawns back anyways but you also normally get like Center control, and since you only get the bonds back, it's not really useful. And yeah, well, guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed learning about what notation is and stuff, and what is um that what gambits are. And that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and until next time, bye bye, guys.